stop meeting like this. And then I'll buy the fifth time, it's just awkward, isn't it? Hello everyone, welcome to another Disused Railway walk. As all good stomps should, this one starts outside Nando's. I'm in Mansfield in Nottinghamshire, walking along what was the Southall or Southwell um, to Mansfield line. And it's a bit of a tale of two viaducts. I'm stomping through just past the football ground, which is over to the right there, over Drury's Dam and Drury's Dam Viaduct which is an awesome bit of infrastructure. So it's a bit overgrown at the minute. Like I said, I've just come out of an industrial estate trying to find the actual line. I don't think I'm on the actual line just yet, but it is a walkway so you can get across the viaduct. Hopefully get some real cool footage of that. The railway behind me goes back to, to Southall or Southwell, as I say. And once you get out of Mansfield, you can actually walk that. It's a proper, you know, a proper old railway walkway. It looks really, really nice. It's one I need to do. Um, for today, I haven't got that much time before I need to be in the office, so I'm just going to walk across this viaduct and then make my way across the town of Mansfield to Kingswell Viaduct, which is actually the very oldest viaduct in England and crucial to the existence of this town. Right, there's no signs to tell me which way to go, but when you look at the old maps, there is a railway that goes off, shoots off like that. There's another viaduct which isn't there anymore and that goes and joins up with Mansfield Railway Station which is basically just through those trees whereas the other line goes straight on. So I'm going to I'm gonna back this horse. Sorry for the slightly dishevelled look. It is early. The only people about seem to be dog walkers. You should probably hear some commuters driving about. Um, but also my, um, my youngest, nearly two, she's teething so a good night's sleep is an absolute pipe dream. But I've already found the viaduct. That was like three steps from the industrial estate, not really much of a walk. A hop, a skip, and a jump. Straight on the viaduct already. Look down. Quite a drop. Hey, doggy. Doggy's come to say hello. There's the River Morn down there. The viaduct was built in 1871 and then closed again in 1872. So it was only around, I think it was just under 18 months. And then it was left disused for over 30 years until 1906 when they brought it back into, uh, into commission again. And that sounds odd, because it's you know an amazing structure. It would have taken a hell of a lot of effort and money to build. But the more you look into some of these sort of Victorian structures and railways, it's not actually that uncommon that they would you know just build something and then just go, oh, I'll just leave that for a bit, don't worry about it. But then it did come back into commission and they used it right up until 1983 actually. On my second birthday it closed. Haters out there will say that those two things aren't connected, but I don't know. It is a coincidence, isn't it? Um, but what it used to do is carry uh, coal traffic coming from Rufford Colliery and it joined up with a loop behind me to the old um, Mansfield to Clipston line, you know, the one that we walked the other week. And there's this beautiful Gerda Bridge part that goes over the road. Yeah, that's the football ground there. You see the floodlights in the distance. Originally, when you look at the old maps, that actually was a cricket ground um, in the 1880s. I'm not sure how, man, how old Mansfield Town Football Club are. Maybe they didn't exist at that point. The road down there. You've got some fishing areas and river. Awesome structure. Do you clean up your dog mess? Well, I haven't got a dog, so I don't tend to, no. We've got those same posters in the village I live in. True story, my wife thinks it's me. I'm not even kidding. Right, she thinks that the, the, they've used an old photo of me because the eyes look the same. Um, and it's, it's not dissimilar. Um, well, in my previous life playing in, in rock bands, obviously you'd have your, your, your smouldering photo shoots and all that gubbins. And there is one picture, I'll put it up. I don't look dissimilar to these geezer's eyes. So hopefully I'll get some royalties one day. And then it stomps on 
towards Kingswell. It doesn't actually join up with, with the railway at Kingswell or the old railway at Kingswell because it actually goes and joins the main line. But I'll walk it as long as I can. Beautiful viaduct that. So that's the Jury Dam viaduct in Mansfield, named after Daniel Jury, who was a, um, a flower mill owner, I think, back in the day. I'm going to walk now as far as I can, but this line does then join up with the main line, and obviously that's not happening. So once I get to the end of this line, as far as I can go, I'll probably have to you know, go off into a few different streets and find my way around to the, to the next viaduct. But hopefully there's some nice ways to do that, so I'm not just walking around. Um, you know, housing estates and stuff, but we'll see. So this is the end of the line now. Straight through there goes to the active line. So I'm going to hang a left, try not to get too stung, and make my way to Kings Mill Reservoir. Everything's growing so quickly. Sun comes out, nature goes mental. My garden's exactly the same. It's like it's just like barren for months on end and then suddenly you look out the window and say, oh, oh, I do live in Brazil. Sorry, I didn't realize. Yeah, coming up to a wee bridge here. I don't know how old this is or whether this is new. No. That's not new. Right, so there's the active line through there. And this is obviously, you know, this, this uh, you know, walkway's been added later. So I'm gonna follow this. Although it does sound like it's just gonna take me into an industrial estate. There's a line there. So I might have to get down those steps in a minute and, and walk off and, and see, but I'll, I'll find out. Well, the path does seem to go on. I'm just going to keep stomping till I can't then. I'm in the proper goosey now. It wouldn't be me though, would it, if I wasn't getting into some kind of calamity. <clears throat> Where have you been this morning? Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get through it this way. Yeah, it's taking me off in completely the wrong direction. Right, I'll go back and I'll just stick to the road. That's annoying, but never mind. Back on the road. Amazing rocks. Oh, a combo of rocks and rocks and bricks. So there's the bridge I've just walked across when I shouldn't have done. There's the active line. So I'm going to get head up, take a left because I know that's the direction I need to go in, and hopefully I'll find where I need to be. I haven't bothered filming for a bit because I'm stomping down the side of the A38. Do you know what I mean? Which isn't particularly interesting. But in a minute I'll get to turn left and I will get down onto the old line. I haven't forgotten about you. So I've come off the A38, turned left at Costa Coffee, Costa Fortune, and I'm pretty sure I'm where I need to be. I'm at Kings Mill Reservoir, so I'm in the right ballpark. nature in the morning. Okay, back up. So before I get to the water's edge, and it probably gets windy, may as well talk about the viaduct. So Kingsmill Viaduct built in 1817 by Josiah Jessup, which is a great name. Basically, bred life into the, into the town because the, 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 the mills and stuff were all falling behind because they couldn't get a canal here like they could get a canal all over the other places all the other industrial hubs, they couldn't get any here because of the, the way the terrain is. Um, so by getting a railway here, it was an absolute game changer. Opened in 1817, and then in 1819, they had their first loads of coal came in, and they took it to the marketplace in the middle of the village, 
and they ceremoniously burnt the lot. How dare you! Imagine that. Oh, it's kicking off. So the line goes off this way towards Pinkston. Um, in the 1870s, I think the Midland Railway straightened it and took out a load of the curves to basically make it faster. And unfortunately, that meant the end for this viaduct here. But it did get a little bit of a reprieve um, to serve a flour mill, which is basically where those houses are now. Um, and then it served just as sidings up until about 1970. That's how it would have looked. That's pretty cool. I've not seen others do it like that, so it kind of looks like it, it would have done when it was up there. I like that. Unfortunately, you can't see too much from the top of it, so I am going to clamber down and see if I can't get underneath it and get a better view. Bosh. Look at that. Oldest viaduct in England. Look at that, go old guys. Loads of midges of that. Like I say, it was a siding. Sidings that went on the top till about 1970. Um, and then it was just left, but they've invested a load of money in a lottery fund put in like 300k or something to um, to restore it and make it, you know, a public uh, footpath and stuff to get around the town. That's what lottery money's there for, really, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, they're conning people out of their own money. It's a tax on the poor, isn't it, lottery, if we're honest. But at least they're, um, they're putting some back into stuff like this. It's an amazing structure. 1817. Like I say, Without it, Mansfield was on its backside, really. It managed to connect Pinkston and the, the Derbyshire coalfields with Mansfield and Mansfield's malt industry and the sand industry. is a massive good sand pit. Talking, mate. And so this railway line, which was originally just, um, just horse-drawn, it, it connected the two. And that, you know, bang, saved the day. Kingsmill Viaduct, oldest railway viaduct in England. I had said the oldest viaduct in England earlier, I think. And then it dawned on me that I'd probably have the Romans in the air, do you know what I mean? And the Drury Dam Viaduct as well, which is both the both beautiful viaducts. I do like me a viaduct. So I'm walking back now, back to the car. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers for subscribing, viewing, clicking, commenting, and I'll see you next time.